you know Valentine's Day is coming, so I make this calculus question for you guys. We are going to find f prime of x given this equation, and where's the function? Well, it's here and here instead of this integral. So does that mean we have to integrate? No, we don't because this is an integral function. We can actually just differentiate it. And that's it. We don't have to integrate it. <laughs> and this step is called the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus Part 1. Pretty much, it says, we can just cancel the derivative and integral. But the way to do this, you put this instead of the t here and t here, and then use the Chengdu. And then don't worry about the one, yeah, the, don't worry about the second part. So we will just get f of x to the third power plus 1 over 1 plus f of x to the third power plus 1 and of course use the Chengdu because you see that the derivative of this is 3x squared so e matters and of course we will have to differentiate ln x which is just 1 over x okay now what do we do next well we are trying to get f prime of x so let's just go ahead and solve for the function and then differentiate it and that'll be it right so let me just multiply the x on both sides so we will get 3x squared times x, which is x to the third power now, and then multiply by that, which is f of x to the third power plus 1. And then we'll multiply this to here, so we will just have 1 plus f of x to the third power plus 1. And now let's do two steps right here. Let's bring this to the other side. So that's first step. It's three steps. Three steps. So first step. Bring this to the other side. Step two. Factor out the f of x to the third power plus 1. Third step. Divide the 3x to the third power minus 1 both sides. So this is going to give us f of x to the third power plus 1 being equal to 1 over this, which is 3x to the third power and then minus 1. So that's what we have. Mm, this is pretty good because we get the function by itself. But the problem is the input is not an x. It's x to the third power plus 1. So what do we do in this case? Here's the thing, whenever we're trying to solve a function equation like this, just always look at the input and ask yourself, what's the inverse of that? So let me just make a note right here. The inverse of x to the third power plus 1, well, we just have to minus 1 to x first and take the cube root. So the inverse is the cube root of x minus 1. And then we're just going to be plugging this into the x here and also the x here. And you will see why. So let's see. We will get f of plugging this into the x. So we get the cube root of x minus 1. And then raised to the third power n plus 1 after that. And on the right hand side, we do the same thing, right? Put this in here. So we get 1 over 3 times the parentheses. And we have the cube root of x minus 1 to the third power and then minus 1. Check this out. This and that cancel. We have x minus 1 plus 1. Haha, -ha, we do get the x, right? So that's very nice. So we have f of x. On the right hand side, we have 1 over and here we have 3. Cube root and that cancel. So 3 times x, which is 3x. And then 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. And then minus 1. So we have minus 4. Aha! This is pretty crazy because right now we are saying that the function is 1 over x to the third power minus 4. Well, imagine you change the x to t and you put the function in here and also in here. Do your integral and then plug in this <laughs> and then plug in 1 and subtract. Guess what? You are going to end up with ln x. That's pretty crazy. So if you guys would like, go ahead and just try it out. Yeah. And yes, I really make this, uh, I think this is really cool. But we're not done yet because um, we still haven't found the derivative of f. This is not bad at all because we can rewrite this and we will get parentheses 3x minus 4 raised to the negative 1 power so that we see the derivative of f is just going to be bring the power to the front and then minus 1. And we will get negative parentheses 3x minus 4 to a negative 2. And of course, don't forget the Chengdu. So multiply by the derivative inside, which is multiplied by 3. So ladies and gentlemen, our f prime of x is equal to negative 3 over that 3x minus 4 squared, like this. 
and then we are done. No, we are not done yet. Because this actually works out very, very well. So I showed, I've shown you guys how to do this, right? I'm going to change the question a little bit and you guys are going to try it. So here is the deal. I'm going to just write that down again. So suppose we have the integral from 1 to x to the third power plus 1. And we have f of t over 1 plus f of t dt. And this is ln x. And we still want to solve we'll find f prime of x right just like what we did over there okay but instead of giving you guys this i'm going to change one thing a little bit yeah this is the derivative so suppose we have f prime of t on the top over one plus f of t and then instead of this integral and it ends out to be ln x can you guys solve for f prime of x are we going to do this again or something different? Well, I don't know. So go ahead and give this a try and let me know how it goes. Now that's it.